Hey, welcome to 209coach.com. I want to do a video for you today that I really truly believe is going to be very helpful for you. If you watch my videos, you know that I'm always trying to share with you things that the best players in the world do, whether it be elite MLB players, elite softball players. And if you pay close attention, especially from direct off the side batter's box view, what these players are doing, you're going to notice that there's a common denominator. There's a common kind of a move or technique that they pretty much all do, whether you're big, small, doesn't matter. It's just very, very common. And my purpose for my videos is to always try to help my audience to apply what the best players do in the world because there's a reason for it. There's a reason why they use their body the way they do. So I'm just going to share with you uh, several hitters, both baseball and softball, and let you know what they're doing, share with you what they're doing, and then you can kind of decide for yourself if you want to do this or not but this is what I teach this is what works I'm, I'm telling you from experience I've been doing this for over 20 years and it works and I just hope that you would at least try it because I truly believe that it will help you now the first thing I want to explain to you is this everything starts with a setup and you're going to see pretty much every player is going to have to one degree or another very similar setups okay you're going to see here again this is an MLB player with the setup, you're going to see a lot of flexion in the arms. I bring this up in my videos all the time. The hands will be somewhere between the neck and the deltoid. And what you're going to see at the setup, you're going to see the bat's going to be pretty vertical. Okay, this is what you see because you want to be very relaxed at the setup. Okay, and then what you're going to also see as you start to get into the gather, you're going to see that there's going to be really no pullback. You can see here as he starts to get in the gather, all he's basically doing is just dropping the hands. Pay attention to the bat. The bat remains vertical. There's no pullback yet. He's right here at the apex of the gather. You can see here he still has a lot of flexion in the arms. The bat remains vertical. What happens next? You can see here, watch, watch the lower body. Notice how the belt buckle goes from pointing straight ahead. As it starts to coil the lower body, it's very obvious that the belt buckle starts to point towards the catcher, okay? What else happens is, as they start their forward move, as he's getting into that hip coil, the top hand pullback. The top hand pullback is crucial. This is what gives these players the ability to get a lot of torque, a lot of great pullback, great separation between the lower and the upper body. Notice the tilt of the bat, how it will start tilting towards the bat. Pay attention to the back elbow. It will work back and behind him back and behind them as they get into toe touch and what happens next as they get into their what I call the hip thrust you're going to see that their body right here watch what's going on right here you're going to see that the bat will still remain pointing towards the catcher what happens after that the lead elbow starts to work up to the height of the mouth and barrel below the hands for a long period of time and the bat will work pretty much in a like a roller coaster in an upward in an upward manner okay this is crucial now let's get another player here all right so now we're going to get a softball player again this is not direct or direct off the side batter box view but if it was it's very obvious here the hands are between the neck and the deltoid and this is again what you're going to see time and time again and again, I'm sharing this with you because well, this allows the hands and the wrists and everything to work very beautifully. Okay, you don't want any tension in the arms at the setup. You want to be very relaxed. You want to have the hands between the neck and the deltoid. Now the bat right now is lying behind her, but if she was to straighten up her wrist, you'd see that the bat would be totally vertical. Okay, in other words, the bat would not be way over here. It wouldn't be pointing this way. The bat would just be, if she got her wrist, it would be pointing vertical. Okay. This is, again, what you see with the best players in the world. Now, what happens next, just like I mentioned, watch how relaxed her arms are going to be well into the gather. And again, it's crucial to understand that these players at the highest level, they're not doing any pullback. All they're really doing as they're getting into the gather, they're just letting their hands, their body gather. Notice how much flexion there's on her arms still. Notice how there's not any pullback. She's at the apex of the gather. Notice all the flexion in her arms. Notice how her bat, again, this is not direct off the side batter's box view, but notice how her, uh, her, her bat is vertical, okay? So there's just a very subtle move into the gather, and this is what you see with the best players in the, in the world. At this stage of the swing, lower level players are getting into already their pullback, they're dropping their back elbow, and they're doing all kinds of things that you just don't see with the best players in the world. 
Watch what happens next. As she starts to get into her swing right here, you're going to see right here as she gets again into her forward move, watch her back elbow. Watch how her back elbow works up, back, and behind her, up, back, and behind her as she gets into her toe touch. Notice where the bat is pointing towards the catcher, just like you saw with the player prior. Notice how she gets into her hip thrust, into her hip rotation. The bat is still pointing towards the catcher. Again, just like the other player, the elbow stays back because of the pullback. Again, watch what's going on with the lead elbow. Notice how the lead elbow works up to the height of the mouth. And because of the pullback, you'll see a lot of bat speed behind players because of everything I just mentioned. Watch the vertical bat. You will see a very vertical bat with the best players in the world. In other words, you will not see a bat that's very flat or horizontal. You will see the lead elbow work up to the height of the mouth and you'll see the bat stay very vertical to and through the ball for a long period of time and they'll get to beautiful extensions. Let's get to another player. All right, here we have Jose Altuve. Uh, a lot of you probably know him. He's just uh, one of the best players that really has come out of baseball in a long time. Just a terrific hitter. Again, this is not quite direct opposite side batter's box view, but you can see it's very obvious that his hands are between his neck and his deltoid. You also see that he has a vertical bat, and this is kind of, you can tell from the move right here, it's kind of like from the process of, of his swing right here, but what he's doing at this stage of the swing, his arms are very relaxed. You can see here the flexion in his arms. They were even more flexed if you were to get him at the absolute setup before he started his uh, gather. Again, the hands between the neck and the deltoid. He has a vertical bat. And this is, again, what you're going to see with the best players in the world over and over and over again. Now watch what happens as he gets into the apex of the gather. Notice how much flexion he, notice how much flexion he has in the arm. Right here, he's at the apex of the gather. It's very obvious, just like with the other players. There's no pullback yet. There's still flexion in the arms. There's no pullback. Again, the bat is still vertical. And that what you're also what you're going to see now, just like I mentioned with the other players, it's not until his forward move. Watch his back elbow, how his back elbow starts to work back and behind him. Back and behind him. Okay? This is, again, what you see with the best players in the world. Now watch where his bat is. At toe touch, is pointing towards the area of the catcher. As he gets into his heel plant, where is the bat pointing? In the area of the catcher. Why? Because of the pullback. And again, just like you see with the other players, notice what's going on here. His lead elbow will start to work up to the height of the mouth, barrel below the hands, barrel below the hands, barrel below the hands, barrel below the hands for a long period of time. Gets to beautiful extension. Again, this is what you see with the best players in the world. Doesn't matter if it's a female elite player, if it's an elite MLB player, this is what you're going to see. All right, here we have another elite softball player. Again, this is also not quite direct off the side batter's box view. Again, you can see here if it was, it's very obvious. The hands are between the neck and the deltoid. And just like I brought up with the other players, you see a lot of flexion in the arms. And the reason I keep bringing this up to you is because I want you to see that there is a very, very common way in which the best players in the world hit. Watch what happens as she gets into the apex of the gather. Notice how quiet her arms are. Notice how her bat, there's no pullback yet. The reason you know this is because her bat is not facing towards the field. She's at the apex of the gather. Look at all the flexion in her arms, all the flexion in her arms, no pullback yet. The bat is vertical. Now watch what happens here. Pay attention to her back elbow as she starts her forward move. It's not until this particular stage of the swing that that the back elbow works back and behind her, back and behind her. Because of this pullback, watch how well loaded she is, okay? This is like totally elite, okay? Notice how powerful she looks right here. Notice how the bat is pointing in the area of the catcher. Notice how beautiful those angles are in her swing. Again, as she gets into her heel plant, just like the other players, you'll see that the bat is pointing in the direction of the catcher. Usually lower level players at the stage of the swing, the bat is pretty vertical, pointing downwards or even in front of home plate. This is because of pullback. This is because of resistance. Just like the other players, watch how the bat speed is behind her. Just like the other players, again, because of the pullback, maintaining the pullback, maintaining the resistance. This is crucial if you want to emulate or have swings like the ones I'm showing you right now. And again, 
again, this is not by accident that every player I'm going to show you, that I am showing you, it's applying almost identically the same thing. Now watch what happens next. Watch how the lead elbow starts to work up to the height of the mouth, and it goes to here, and it goes, the back goes in an upward orbit, okay? And this will vary a little bit from pitch to pitch, but the mechanics will be pretty consistent always, where they're going to be applying this beautiful, beautiful pullback. Beautiful. This will allow you to, to be able to control your stride. It'll allow you to have a beautiful hand path so the bat speed is behind you. Letting the lead elbow work up to the height of the mouth and let everything work out in an orbit. Okay? This is what is what you're going to see with the best players in the world over and over. Now let's get another player. All right, many of you probably know Bryce Harper, one of the most powerful hitters in the MLB. Okay, here he is, that's set up. What do you see? Same thing as you do with the other players. And I know a lot of people probably don't even pay attention to this. And this is one of the things as a coach, I try to be very, very detailed because when I'm doing online video analysis, when I'm working with players in person, it is crucial for me to know what the best players are doing, how they're doing it, and who and what are they doing at all times in the sense so that I can help my, my players, my audience, anyone that I'm working with. Because if I am not teaching my students to look like and emulate and apply what the best players in the world are doing, there's no purpose for anyone to hire me. If you are not looking like every one of these players that I'm showing you, you're basically wasting your time with a coach that's not giving you the opportunity to, to just emulate and again, to just copy what the best players in the world are doing. Watch what he's doing. Now look how relaxed his arms are right there. He's just very relaxed. Hands between the neck and the deltoid, okay? All the flexion in the arms. Watch what happens as he starts to get into the apex of the gather. He gets into the apex of the gather. You see that the bat is vertical. You can see here that he still has a lot of flexion in his arms. Okay, see that? He basically, all he's doing as he lifts his front leg, watch how he's coiling the back hip. Notice his hips, okay? He's at the apex of the gather. There's no pullback yet. The bat is still very vertical. You can see that he's coiling the lower body just like the other players. And again, he gets to the apex of the gather. It's not to this point. Now watch his back elbow. Then it, this is when he starts to get into this tremendous pullback, this tremendous torque. Again, watch the bat. It's vertical right here. Again, pretty much between the neck and the deltoid where he starts off right here. Because of lifting the front leg, he's just going to shift from the hands being between the neck and the deltoid to the front of the back foot. And from here, as he starts his pullback, the hands will shift to the shoelace because of the pullback. And notice the back elbow. It works back and behind him, just like the other players. Now, this will vary from degree to degree, from player to player, depending on flexibility, the bending a lot on their anatomy and things like that. But you will see this particular move over and over and over. Okay. Again, it's important to understand that these all, all these players are doing this. Okay, and I can show you literally a hundred players, which I won't, but they pretty much all do exactly this particular move. Notice how his back elbow stays behind him, behind him, or even with his hands as he swings. Again, like the other players, at toe touch and at heel plant, at toe touch. And at heel plant, the bat is still facing in direction of the catcher because of the pullback, because of maintaining the pullback. Now watch what happens to his lead elbow. Starts to work up to the height of the mouth. He hits two and through the ball. Two and through the ball. Watch the orbit of his bat. Again, working above his head. This is what you see with the best players in the world. Over and over again. Let's sh show you one more player. Now this player right here is at the apex of the gather. That's where this video begins. But you can see here it's very obvious at this stage of the swing. There's a lot of flexion in the arms. Again, if this is not quite direct opposite side batter's box view, but the bat is vertical. Okay, notice as she starts to get into the apex of the gather, notice where the belt buckle is pointing. It's pointing in the direction pretty much of the catcher. Because like the other player, she's winding up the lower body. She, you want to coil the back hip, the back leg. You really want to do this. This is what the best players are doing. They're not getting into any pullback yet because, like I just mentioned, she's at the apex of the gather. These videos right here, I truly hope they're helpful for you because I'm telling you, this is what the best players in the world do. And also, I could literally show you a hundred other players and pretty much all of them to one degree or another will be doing this. Now watch what happens as she gets into her forward move. You can see that the back elbow starts to work back and behind her.
back and behind her. Notice how she maintains the pullback. She's at toe touch right now, okay? Notice where the bat is. Bat is. It's pointing in the direction of the catcher. She gets into her heel plant. The bat is pointing in the direction of the catcher. This can only occur if you are applying the top hand pullback. Now, this is not an abrupt move. It is a subtle move. It is a technique, but you must apply top hand pullback. If you do not, the hands will outrace the body. Again, if you do not apply and maintain the top hand pullback as you get into your hip rotation, as you get it what I call a hip thrust, okay, and that is also a cause and effect. If you wind the back hips and you wind up the back leg very nicely, you will naturally just explode with your hips. It will be a cause and effect. If you pull back, just like you see here with this young lady, you will naturally, cause and effect, have a beautiful, beautiful hand path. That, again, is cause and effect. As a coach, I have to know these things. I have to know how to teach it. And, again, there are a lot of great coaches out there on YouTube. I, I watch some of them, and I'm really impressed with what a lot of them teach. You can learn a lot from watching YouTube. You can watch a lot by following coaches that teach orthodox or teach mechanics that are conducive to this kind of move, this kind of technique. Now watch what happens here. Watch the lead elbow. Work up to the height of the mouth to and through the ball with barrel below the hands for a long period of time. This is again, if you work the lead elbow to the height of the mouth and you keep the barrel below the hands for a long period of time, you will be able to hit to and through the ball just like all these players that I just shared with you. These are the mechanics, again, that the best players in the world apply. Again, my purpose for this video right here is to show you the commonality, the common denominator of what all these players do. They pretty much all do it to one degree or another. I would highly recommend, highly suggest for you to start applying what these players do to give you an edge. Don't be left behind. There's a lot of kids, a lot of players that are trying to move up and they're being left behind. They're not being recruited. They are not being selected to play on any elite teams because they do not apply mechanics like you see here in the players I just shared with you. My hope is that all of you will be able to play at the highest levels, the highest levels you want to achieve, and I think it's very obtainable with hard work. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.